Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy. In this video I'm just going to summarize on the different economic theories that I already put out which are relevant in terms of dynamic compliance. So I actually just took all the comparison models and put into one big matrix format here. So on the columns let us just look it's corporate governance, risk management and reactive compliance in the first three columns so that is the GRC framework. The fourth column will be corporate social responsibility and then dynamic compliance in the end. So the GRC framework are put together because they are all they all have this internal view. They look from the company and out. And that is very important to understand that everything done in terms of the view that we have in terms of corporate governance, risk management, and reactive compliance, it's kind of cost optimization, it's a cost benefit analysis, it's long term investments. Everything is from the view of the company and not necessarily based on what is best for society as a whole. Where corporate social responsibility takes a different view. It's not purely dynamic because it depends on who drives the corporate social responsibility, but it has both an internal and external view as dynamic compliance. So again, the aim of corporate governance, long-term investment aligned with your stakeholders, risk management, that is more like an operational side, minimizing your risk, on a cost benefit analysis like baseline trying to take in all your inherent risk and see okay what should we mitigate what should we not mitigate why that is relevant in terms of compliance is because the structure the process of risk management that will also be kind of the model the iterative cycle that we will use later when i present the method of dynamic compliance corporate governance is really important because it is governance it's management it is how do you govern how do you manage your company and in terms of dynamic compliance when we have a society filled up with risk managers need to comply with that risk they need to assess it they need to identify it they need to mitigate the inherent risk they need to make a strategy based on that risk picture Reactive compliance is basically mostly a, a regulatory compliance. So it, it really reflects on this external requirement coming from the outside that we need to comply to. And well, it's relevant when we talk about dynamic compliance because we need to see where dynamic compliance originated from. And that is reactive compliance. I put in the wordings reactive and dynamic because otherwise I would say compliance and compliance. So it's kind of like taking and showing the how has compliance evolved from the standard under the GRC framework, which is the reactive compliance approach that is under the GRC. Corporate social responsibility. Here we have an aim of society and an alignment with the long term interest of management than the company. And that is much closer to, to dynamic compliance. But of course, dynamic compliance goes beyond the voluntary element and that everything you do is not necessarily for gaining social value as a company. Why the dynamic compliance regime kind of put together all these different economic theories in one. And that is why I chose these four elements, because in the end, dynamic compliance is kind of an accumulation of corporate governance on the governance side, risk management on how you handle risk, put them together and then you're governing risk too. Reactive compliance, how do we see regulation? Of course, we will go beyond that. But also, how? what are the expectations from society from in terms of CSR? So every, every, all of these segments put together with also I a dynamic view where we both look at the internal and external sphere that is the framework of dynamic compliance 
the approach is also a combination. So, uh, so we have governance code, we have managing risk, we have all these different segments and all this put together is how we should conceive dynamic compliance because dynamic compliance is not just a regulatory compliance exercise anymore. No, managers have to also understand that compliance is management. This, this kind of, you, you cannot divide them anymore. As of course, in some areas you might be able to divide them, but when we're in the risk-based area, when we're within risk-based regulation, management is depending on dynamic compliance and vice versa. So that's why we can say that dynamic compliance actually is an accumulation of the GRC work, uh, the GRC framework combined with so corporate social responsibility. So I hope this like makes, gives you like a comprehension of the perspective and what has actually happened is that all these different theories considering different elements of corporate behavior and societal uh, needs and societal values and, and expectations have come together and created a new era of management, a new era of compliance and a new era of risk um, alignment, risk assessment and behavior be, uh, based on risk and societal value. So that was it. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's talk more about compliance.